Previously on Hardline. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. You want to steal Dawes' dirty money before it gets laundered. Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Yeah, the wife Kang might be an old friend of mine. <laughs> you get started? I figured you'd probably use a hand back here. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? Where Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, uh, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It can power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Welcome, guys, to episode 8. Sovereign Land or something like that. Uh, so, yeah. Long Welcome. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know, made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about <laughs> you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Dude. Oh, you got a little fat. She looks like she's from the show little... Finder or something like that. Uh. I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd need like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <sighs> She's a bitch already. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! She's so fucking weird. Go to the right here, Nick. She is so fucking weird. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road. I'll tell you when to turn. So what was that? I just ran over. You the money. I got an itch. So what do you do, Nick? I work Fuck. with Boomer. Oh, boy's up to no good. I think. <laughs> so how's your daddy? She's still carrying that fucking gun. Marcus. <laughs> the world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we can... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. Kidnap me, my dad said. Mm. Which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh! GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> uh, right. your dad's yeah. got daddy uh. issues. He's way too overprotective. So your dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL Team 6. And due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots. Are guys here armed? 
Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. <laughs> they fucking killed them. The fuck is wrong with these people? Dirt road straight ahead. That's ours. See, I don't understand why they tell you at the very last second. Like, after you fucking made your decision, they already tell you. Here we are! Well, well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert. Thanks for seeing us. Uh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. The fuck? What kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from LA named Stoddard. Say fuck you. Kill him. You if I have a fucking chance to kill this dude, I'm already gonna kill right him. Now. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Yeah. Well, Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. All right, time to get out of here. Okay, guys. After fucking several attempts, I finally had this thing fucking passed. I don't know. This game kind of pisses me off a lot. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? To the car? How can we trust this shit? Here we go. Hey, you want to talk about what's going on here? It's like these guys are geared up for their own private apocalypse. Yeah, Tony's kind of flipped his lid. You think? What do you guys even need a safe cracking robot for anyway? Uh, to steal something? Well, at least it's being used for a noble cause. Head for the airstrip. <laughs> That's where your is. Okay, and you're sure it's there? Yes, I'm sure. That's where Tony keeps all his crap. Just drive. Okay, look, there's one thing I want to know. Oh, just one? Hey, well, there's hey, a lot of things I'd like to could know. Could you just hang on? Dooney, why'd you let your dad lure us into a trap? I assumed Nick was just one of your dirtbag friends, but then I found out he's a cop, which is kind of worse, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever. You know you're coming with us now, right? Oh, really? Jesus! Oh, fuck! Uh, or what if instead I turn you both over to this Stoddard person and collect my 250 grand? What the hell, woman? You little bitch! <laughs> I'm totally messing with you guys! God, you were crazy. The gun's not even loaded. Ah, uh, Boomer is shocked. I saw that bullet go straight into Boomer. Boomer is definitely fucking shot. Is everyone okay? Dude's been hit. Got shot in the arm. She got. I saw you got hit, Boomer. Yeah, my leg's broken. Oh, we gotta get you some help. Marcus, those guys that ambushed us. She couldn't stand on it thing? if it was broken. Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You How is she it. walking with a broken leg? Record, this place has changed a lot. Ah, uh, well, I'm up. Uh, I guess. 
Can I help him? No? What? How are they shooting me? How dare you are fucking me? Another one, really? Ooh. That one got fucked up. How they are still fucking, fucking fucking hitting me. I don't understand. This game makes no sense. This the AI is fucking retardedly overpowered. Like what the fuck? Yo, are we supposed to defend it or something? We survived, that's for that's sure. That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kind of hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah, you seem kind of busy. This Airfield bitch that crazy. Way, hurry. Hey, Tony. Oh yeah. Good luck. See you around. And tell Tony I think he's away. Whatever that means. Hey, you wanna check out that burnt out house before we go? The fire looks nope. kind of recent. I told you dudes good people. Her dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did Dune mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collected shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. Cop too. For real? But not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, what? So what? You you followed in his footsteps? And hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why he became a cop. A real cop. Sorry, man. Sorry that didn't work out. Turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Nick! This way! 
Time to walk. Come on. Which way are you fucking going, buddy? Hello. Woo. Oh yeah, she's pretty and banged up, but I can fix it. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane you fixed. What? No offense. Man, what are you trying to say, man? Are you doubting Boomer? Man, get out of here. I can fix this. I'll go find the brute. Radio's on, all right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Radio's on. Okay, time to find the fucking brute. Can you pick up some ammo. I have no clue what this thing could possibly be. It's time to go to this little circle we thing. Oh shit. Boomer. Tony's guys are already here. Uh, uh, uh do you see like a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Hey, I think I got an idea. It might be a little loud. Oh, yeah. Vic! You said loud! That took the ear! <laughs> you said loud! That took the ear! Oh, shit! Where are these guys coming from? Um... Boomer, where are we at? I can't do this forever! What the fuck is... Oh, this shit is kinda complicated, man! Okay, so will we die if we take that plane up now? That is an excellent question! Come on! They fucking dodged my bullets! I have no clue how I'm not in There we go. I can't fucking see over there, so how are they hitting me? I can't see over there, so they shouldn't be able to shoot me. Here we go. Oh shit. This is all. Uh, what? Oh. Fucking hell are you? There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner? Aww, uh, why is the ground chicken? Okay, just gonna walk across all these dead bodies, pick up all the ammo, and uh, yeah, I think we good. Up and down, and up the stairs, and this is Boomer. the brute. I got the brute. That is nothing what that I thought uh, what the brute looked like. I'm fucked. Yeah, about this. This is a bad thing that's Someone happening right now. Someone just this fucking building! Just fix that gu- Uh, R2 Xeri, RB to fire. I'm a fire. Goddamn plane, I'll hold him off! You shit! Oh, so now you want me to fix the plane! Here we go. More choppers! What do you expect? You just started a war! Whoa! On. Ooh. Another one bites the dust. Any more else around here? I'm about to fuck up your day, motherfucker. Where are you? Oh, there you are. He's throwing out a smoke screen! What? I can still see him. He's trying to get away! Oh, come back here, motherfucker. Ah, oh, shit! Choppers! Get out of my way, stole. motherfuckers. Where is it? I don't see the chopper. Oh, fuck. There Smoke's we go. Clear up. Explain to me how this fucker is dead yet. Explain to me this. Did that just go... Th there we go. I got Albert. And the Fucking world dash to pound. Fuck it. That thing's ready to fly. 
Yeah, I'm on my way. And Boomer, fuck it, it's not encouraging. <laughs> Go. Uh, I don't know where to actually get in from. From here. Yeah, here we go. After we join up with Kai and Tyson, we are going straight to Miami. Yeah. Told you I could fix it. Ha, ha, ha. 